everyone, Alexa Dunn here, and today I am going to be shouting out some other AuthorTube channels, specifically all the ones I could think of, definitely not an exhaustive list, but a ton of channels that I know of, that I watch, that I could think of and find, that are authors who are pursuing traditional publishing. Either they already have an agent, they're already published, or they're going to be querying. People are always asking for similar channels, and I've been really jazzed to see so many more traditionally published authors or authors pursuing traditional publishing joining the YouTube space in the last couple of years. So, without further ado, as I disclaimed, not an exhaustive list, but a decent sized list. There's going to be links to everyone down below. And for the sake of brevity, I'm going to try to move through these as quickly as possible, which is a good sign to you. There really are more than you might realize. So first up is Amparo Ortiz, who is a YA fantasy author whose debut, The Blaze Wraith Games, came out in 2020, and their middle grade graphic novel comes out from HarperCollins in 2022. Amparo is read by Linda Camacho, and Amparo does a lot of content that I definitely haven't seen on AuthorTube, so I definitely recommend you check her out. And I should say these are in no particular order, but next is Laura Kadner, who is a friend of mine local here in LA. I know Laura through author mentor match. Laura is repped by Uwe Stender and is writing YA thrillers. You can see why we get along. Laura has been on the submission train before and is currently revising her next YA thriller to go on submission again. Laura does really great vlogs and also, like me, does some bookish videos reviewing thrillers that she's read. Seriously, this is why we get along. Then next, of course, is Lizelle Sambury. If you don't already know Lizelle, how do you not know Lizelle? Go follow Lizelle. Lizelle's debut came out a few months ago, Blood Like Magic from Simon and & Schuster, and she is repped by Christy Hunter. Lizelle's amazing, we love Lizelle. Lizelle's been on the channel, we've done live streams. Lizelle does vlogs, she has a debut diary series that you can check out. Lots of great, meaty content. Next is, again, my friend, Lainey Cress. Lainey's been on here for years, as we know. Lainey is a regular on the channel. Lainey is represented by L. Thompson at Triada, and Lainey is currently on submission with a YA fantasy. Next, another friend of ours, Lindsay Puckett. Lindsay has been on AuthorTube for years, chronicling her journey, so just like with Lainey, you can see the journey of querying and getting an agent, and Lindsay recently sold her debut middle grade to Scholastic. Lindsay is represented by Samantha Fabian at Root Literary, and I'm realizing I should maybe, s not everyone on this list has a literary agent, and I also don't know everyone's literary agent, so maybe I should stop listing. <laughs> It, unless I say specifically that someone is aspiring and will be querying rather than they have an agent and or a book deal, assume that they have a literary agent and you can look that up. Next is another friend of the channel, Kevin the Writer. Kevin is repped by Rena Rossner and Kevin, I was about to say Kevin is a YA writer. Kevin is a YA writer, but I also know Kevin has been like kind of dabbling in other areas. Kevin does vlogs mostly on his channel and we all miss the live streams with Laura who I'm gonna talk about next and we hope they will come back soon. So next is Kevin's sister, Laura. And if you didn't know Kevin and Laura were brother and sister, now you know. Like the first time I found out, I was like, and Laura is chronicling her process and her journey of writing a YA horror, though part of the fun of the journey is that it started out as a YA contemporary and she's talked a lot about kind of realizing she needed to rewrite it. Uh, and Laura plans on querying next year. Laura and Kevin, and I've jumped in a few times, have done a craft chat series. She did this whole journey to read a bunch of craft books while she was figuring out what to do with her book. And so you can follow her for a lot of great specifically YA horror content and eventually watch her journey of querying. The next few similarly are pursuing traditional publishing, so they are working on their books that they hope to query and get an agent for. The first is Riley K. Jones. I knew Riley from AuthorTube and then Riley also got into Author Mentor Match, which is the program that I run. Riley is working on a YA thriller that she hopes to query. Riley does a mix of vlogs and discussion type videos, like topical videos 
videos on things in writing. Next is Wow well, Miranda Brote, another friend of the channel. She's done live streams with me because she's on PT time and I was like, will you live stream with me? Miranda is working on a YA boarding school book that she is polishing up to query. Miranda mostly posts regularly posts really great vlogs. Next is Michelle Schusterman. Michelle, Michelle's prolific. Michelle has done YA and middle grade, also does ghostwriting, and I'm like moderately proud. It was like technically me, like I won't use the word bully, but I definitely was like, Michelle, you're amazing, you should start a YouTube channel. So I'm really, really glad she did. 100% if you enjoy my videos, go check out Michelle definitely give her a sub. She does stuff with topics and just like the way that she talks about things and researches things and then edits her videos. I really enjoy watching them. So definitely go check out Michelle. She just has so much experience in traditional publishing, in multiple areas of traditional publishing, in publishing a ton of books over a long period of time, a lot of practical advice and perspective and experience. I love how she's been sharing a lot of wisdom on her ghostwriting experience and what she does there. Michelle is just great. Next is an author who I discovered recently and was so glad that I did. He reached out to me. We're actually doing a live stream this weekend. Stephen Arian. So glad to find Stephen because Stephen is multi-published, very experienced in publishing adult fantasy. Nothing against any of us who write YA, obviously I do too, but it's really refreshing to see someone who's doing adult fantasy, adult and fantasy, who can speak to that side of the market, who can cover those topics. Y'all ask me all the time and I always feel bad. I feel like I'm not the right person to advise you on writing fantasy, let alone writing adult. Additionally, Stephen is based in the UK and so his agent is in the UK. He's not published only by UK publishers, but he can also give that perspective of how it works to get an agent and be published as a UK writer. Another thing and question that comes up all the time. His channel is a wealth of knowledge. He has a really nice collection of videos. I watched a ton of them the other week and I highly, highly recommend you go sub to him. He doesn't have enough subs. Steven is definitely a new favorite. And as I said, if you have fantasy questions, adult fantasy questions, I'm just gonna send you to his channel from now on. And I am probably gonna have him on this channel in the future to like maybe do a live stream Q&A about adult fantasy. Next is Becca Day. I found Becca through the first page critiques. Ah, oh, that's how I found Riley as well. Through the first page critiques that I did last year and I am just so excited. It's like, I didn't really have anything to do with it, but like, it's like I, I, I watched her journey and it's just been so cool to watch. Becca finished the book that I did the first page critique on, queried, got a really great literary agent recently, and so I highly recommend you go check her out. She is also in the UK, so she's going to be offering the side of writing adult thrillers as a UK-based writer with a UK agent. It's a totally different market, so I love like getting that perspective. And most recently, Becca posted a great video on how she got her agent, and we're going to see more great content from her going forward of her experiences now that she's got an agent and is pursuing traditional publishing adult thrillers in the UK. Next is kind of a sideways wreck, like a just-in case. So Lindsay Ellis obviously doesn't need me to recommend that you subscribe to her because Lindsay Ellis is huge, but Lindsay was first a YouTuber and is now a published adult sci-fi writer and has done some good videos about her experiences writing and publishing that I've definitely enjoyed watching. So like go sub to her in between kind of the longer form video essays that Lindsay posts. Uh, every once in a while she'll do something that talks about her experiences with writing and publishing and it's cool to kind of get specifically the adult sci-fi side of things. Next is another friend. I mean I feel I'm friends with a lot of these people, like I make myself friends with people whose channels I like, but I've known Amari for years. We met at a bookstore event in like 2014 or 15, like at, a, at an event at Barnes and Noble, we started talking and we became friends. Amari's channel is primarily, it's honestly a booktube channel. She does this really great book club and specifically, I need you to know this about Amari. You know when you have like a person who you know and you're like, you are literally one of the smartest people I know? That's her. She is such a smart cookie. I just sit in awe of her at times. Her reading taste is great. Like 
Honestly, she reads nonfiction books that feel a little beyond me. Like, you know, I go for some of the more pop culture ones. I just love, respect, and admire her. She is repped by Johanna Volpe at New Leaf Literary. And you might know Amory. She was the editor of the Because You Love to Hate Me anthology that came out years ago that featured booktubers writing like villain stories. So she edited that anthology. So she's repped by Johanna Volpe and is writing adult science fiction and fantasy. So you're not so much going to see content on her channel. She hasn't done it so far about like writing and being an author, but she is a traditionally like publishing path author who has a great agent and I just love her. And it's definitely possible that she might make that kind of content in the future. She's also one where I'm like, why haven't I live streamed with her? Like, well, when, when we can, pandemic willing, like Amari and I will do like writing dates in LA and stuff, so. Next is Emily Robertson, who wrote the YA Lifestyles of Gods and Monsters that came out in 2019. She is repped by Carrie Sparks. She does a lot of writing topic type videos like I do. And then look at me, I promised I would move through these really, really quickly. So I actually will move through the next set really, really quickly. I'm terrible. Next is Lynn D. Jung, who is an agented writer who I believe is on submission. Lynn does a lot of vlogs that I like to watch. Then there's Katie Shaw, who is multi-published in YA and middle grade and repped by Penny Moore. There's Ryan LaSala, who wrote Be Dazzled and has a horror coming out from Scholastic. Ryan has been doing live streams with fellow authors, including a few of the next few who don't post as regularly to their author tube channels, but you should still definitely check out their channels. Kat Cho, who wrote the Wicked Fox series and is rep by Beth Phelan. Kat has a really good archive of videos. Also Clarabelle Ortega, who is published in middle grade, rep by Susie Townsend, same there. Francina Simone, uh, you're familiar with as a booktuber, has published some content about writing, getting an agent, and being published. Christine Riccio, of course, also a booktuber who has been published. Christine does a vlog series about writing her books and will post content about that occasionally. Another booktuber, Books and Big Hair, India Hill, who was my first author mentor match, ment mentee, is published in middle grade and has done some good content about like publishing that, going on a book tour, etc. Ooh, this one's great. Alyssa Matisic. This is a one of the f I, only ones on here. Alyssa, really great find for me, is not an author, but Alyssa used to work in publishing. Alyssa worked at the Big Five, I believe in editorial. And so Alyssa has been doing really great content from the perspective of someone who has worked in publishing, tips for querying and editorial and how publishing works. So if you enjoy that kind of content for me, definitely check out Alyssa sub her channel, watch her videos. Next is Emily Page Wilson, who writes novels in verse, which I, YA novels in verse, which is definitely a bit different, is also a poet and is repped by Ami Joan Paquette. I found Emily because I searched how I got my agent to try to pick up a couple additional channels for you, try to pick up newer channels, which is also how I found like a while ago, she actually just got a book deal. Kaylee Smith or Kay Smith, I've seen her put both, just got a book deal with Dick Disney and is repped by Emily Forney at Bookends. Ooh, which actually, speaking of, Bookends Literary Agency has a YouTube channel. You should definitely also check that out. They post videos that are all from the perspective of agents and being a literary agency. There's also Camille Singer, who is repped by Christy Hunter. Jasmine Sky, who is repped by Mary Seymour. Jasmine is also an author, mentor, match, mentor. And Jasmine writes science fiction and fantasy. And last but certainly not least, on again, not an exhaustive list. I am 100% positive I am forgetting some names, but that's what comments are for. Uh, not to break in the flow, but yeah, that's what comments are for down below in the comments. If you watch someone's channel, especially covering the side of people who are aspiring to be traditional, who are recording their journey, definitely drop those down below. Let's find more of those channels. I love watching those channels because like you, like with Lindsay and Lainey, we like, we literally watched the journey 
love it. So last, certainly not least, is Jessica Brody. Jessica doesn't post all the time to her YouTube channel, and that is Jessica Brody of Save the Cat Writes a Novel fame, Save the Cat Writes YA, coming out very, very soon. I actually recently taught a course for Jessica's Writing Mastery Academy. So that's actually the asterisk there. Jessica has a YouTube channel which has a good kind of like backlog of videos, but isn't necessarily like a regular author tube channel the way that I am a regular author tube channel. But Jessica also does her writing mastery academy. It is like a subscription monthly like thing you join where you can watch workshops and courses and get access to a forum, which obviously very different from YouTube. That's more on the pay side and we love YouTube because we can get everything we need for free. But if you like Jessica Brody, she basically will post some things to her YouTube channel and then has a ton of content on her Writing Mastery Academy. That's it for now. As I said, I'm sure there are more people that I've missed. There are also some kind of adornment channels. There are probably channels where, you know, they were started by authors and they haven't been updated in a really long time. I tried to pick people who had like back blogs that made sense for people to go through or who are regularly posting author tube channels, but they really run the gamut. You'll be able to find something. Some people do videos that are about topics in writing. Some people talk about publishing. Some people stick more with vlogs and live streams. Ton of different channels that do a ton of different things, but we are all like in traditional publishing. So if you are also interested in traditional publishing or if you're doing self-publishing and you're just like curious like a fly on the wall, I know a ton of you watch my videos for that reason. Now you have some more people to watch. Again, down below in the comments, drop any channels you watch, or if you are a channel and you're like in traditional publishing and you have an author two channel, drop that down below in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. It's fun to shout out other channels. This one I was like, I actually had this written for a really long time. And then when I discovered Steven, I was like, time to make that video, let's shout out some channels. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, you can go ahead and do that if you like like I post decently consistently, can no longer say two to three times a week because it's no longer true. I'm busy, publishing is hard, but as always guys, thank you so much for watching and happy writing.